Hi, this is your host Akash. We have started our new classes for Premiere Pro CC 2023. This new version of Premiere Pro has new interface for creating a project. Alright, once you have opened Premiere CC 2023, you will see a screen like this. All the projects that you've been working on listed right here. So, if you want to open previous project just click on it and it will open. But in this class, we will be talking about starting a new project. So, click on this, new project, option. Please know that there is also edit and export option. So, once you create your project then edit and export are going to clickable as well, meaning you can click and adjust edit and export options. Now we have project name and project location. Really know that these are the only two things that you have to do in this set process in order to actually create a project. So, for project name, I'm going to put class 01. Then for project location you're going to click this drop down icon. You can select your project's location easily. Now I am creating a new folder named, Saved Project. So, I'm going to double click on Saved Project Files and then go to Select Folder. That's where my project is going to be saved. You can see the interface now it's kind of file explorer type. So, now we will import some images and videos here. You can go to, your pictures, movies, your downloads, whatever it is. For me I will go to my previously created folder so that I can select an import here. So, I am clicking on my E drive and will go to the folder called images and videos. Now I can select these images by clicking on them. If you want to deselect multiple clips, I would do that down here so you can actually hold control and click on all the clips that you want to get rid of, just press control left key or command left key then use your delete key from your keyboard. But you can also click into the dark grey and hold, to make a box around the ones that you want and it will show in the bottom that called import bar. You can hover over the video clips and it will show you the footages in the video so that you can choose which video to import. So, this is the search bar, you can find your clips by searching here like if I type 12 here it will find me the clip which is name is 12. This way you can find your clips quickly. And now this is grid view, grid view is allowing you to view your clips by hovering on them. This is list view by list view you can details data about your clips. So, let's go back to grid view, and now if you slide this slider to the right you can see the files are bigger. And if do it to the left then you will have smaller files but it shows you lots of clips within one page. Right now, I have it sorted by name and ascending order. You can change it to descending order or creation date. Here you have the options to search for just videos only or audios only and images only. You select any of this if you need. This eyeball over here allows you to search based on the camera that you use to film certain footage. I personally never use the copy media, but if we switch it on, you can see that it actually creates copies of all the imported media files to your chosen location, so it's going to make an extra copy of everything and put it in this folder. I didn't install the media encoder so copy media option will not work for now. I will show you later how to work on this. Here we have new bin or new folder that is going to be created in your project to use all the clips that you have selected.
You can click in here and name the folder or bin whatever you want. Now when I actually hit create, all of these clips will be put into that folder and organized nicely for me. Last but not least, we have created new sequence down here. So, if I turn that on once again, I can name it whatever I want, but just know that the settings for this sequence are going to be created based on the very first clip that you selected. So, if I go back to the list view, this sequence is going to be created with these exact frame rate and frame size. Like the sequence will be created as 4K, frame rate will be 29.97 and video codec will be JPEG. So, for now let's hit the create icon here. So, we were in import now we are in edit interface. This is our folder called class01 new bin in this folder we have all our imported files. Because we saved it this way. Double click on this folder, as you can see every imported file are here. Click here to see as list view. Now please turn back to grid view. You can hover over video clip so that you can view some footage. If you double click here you will see the file explorer tab and then you can import new files into this bin. If you drag this slider to the left your timeline will expand it and if drag this to the right it will be smaller. Now grab the new imported image and release here. You can increase the image's length by dragging it to the right. Click on this audio icon so that your audio will be mute just for now so that we can edit all the video without listening the annoying audio sound just for now. We will turn on the audio when we'll adjust the audio. You can also import new files from click on this import tab. Don't forget to turn off the new bin otherwise it will create a new folder and then you will be confused. As you can see our image is imported but it is also created a new sequence automatically. You can see this sequence is not suitable with our project so we select and delete it. But the image is still here you can grab it and release here it will auto adjust with our current sequence. You must be confused right now, let me clear you. When you see this then it is an image, this is for video. When you see this icon on your imported files then it is a sequence. And this is for audio.